before any of this video begins, I just wanted to tell you guys that I am extremely happy on what I've come through this year and this is this might be an emotional video. It's basically talking about my life and what's happened. It's it's kind of like those draw my life. I'm late as all balls for that, but I'm talking about my life. So, uh yeah, let's get right into this. And I'm also sick, so if I sound like I'm about to die or something, um I I, I think I had the stomach bug and I just wanted to um make this video cuz I because I, 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 I think you guys should know. So I was born on December 31st, 2003 at either Metro Hospital or Fairview Hospital. With the people that were there were my grandparents, my mother, of course, my father, of course. They, st they stayed up all night. And they stayed up every day and all night to make sure I came out. And finally at 7.05, I came out. And then that's when everything started. My life started when I was one. I was, I lived in this little apartment with my mom and dad and um, everything was fine. Uh, a lot of stuff happened. I don't know if anything bad happened. I can't really remember. But I met this friend. His name is Colin Kipp. He has been my friend since birth. And it's been crazy. It's been a crazy and emotional ride. After that stuff, my mom and dad have been getting into some fights and arguments. And I... And when I get older, and when I got older, I thought it was all my fault they broke up. But that's not what happened, apparently. Apparently, they just, they just did not get along. And, yeah, I have no idea what happened. And, um, my mom said, like, that she just packed her stuff, got me, and just left. Of course, my dad was extremely sad and, sorry. My, my 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 dad was extremely sad because he loved me with all my heart and with all his heart and um that uh that 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 was that was bad that was bad so I was living with my mom for about like a a year um and I uh went to my dad's on and off I didn't really like it because it was all new and a year later, I just started going over his house Fridays and Saturdays and come home Sundays. Now, this is when it gets interesting. Um, my mom and dad, they owned a dog named Grace. And I love Grace to bits. She she had to have been one of my favorite dogs. And uh, she had to have been one of my favorite dog. And uh, I, I swear to God, I'm going to cry in this video. Um, uh, she, she was adorable. My mom loved Grace and everything. Then a couple years pass and, and in 2007, my father met this girl named Kara. Uh, she is a very nice stepmother. Um, and coming up is their 10 year anniversary. And I... I, I I wish them good luck. This this has been amazing for for that. And when I first met Kara, I I used to I used to call her Miss Kara. I was like, Miss Kara, may I have some juice? And she said it was adorable and and all of that. And I would say in two thousand ten I would say two thousand ten my mom or no not my mom. Um well uh, my mom met uh, this guy named Tom, but I don't really want to get into that right now because we already kind of passed that limit. But in 2010, I would say, my my dad and my stepmom had a child, and his name is Carter. And um, I was, I, I didn't know because this was my first time having a brother and stuff. So this was all very, very, very new to me. Then a couple years pass and nothing really 
was wrong, but my dad went move. My dad, Kara, and Carter moved to this new place. It was still in Ohio, and I had to go over there instead of my other dad's house, which I loved. My other dad's house. It was. I um. <laughs> Before we talk about my new dad's house, I wanted to say I actually ran away from my dad's, from my old dad's house. It was a bad move. I don't know why I did it, but I was such a mama's boy. And, um, I, and my, um, my great grandmother's house was right there. Like, I just had to walk there and I'm there. And the cops come, and because they fought, because I think my dad filed a missing person report. I think he called 911 or something. I don't know. I don't know the entire story. Hell, I wasn't even there. And um, I got to stay there, and my grandma picked me up from that house. Now, a year after having Grace, I had this new dog named Dante, and after that, uh, things started getting downhill with the dog situation. My, um, I think I'm about to cry here, but, um, my, uh, uh, my dad and Kara, I don't think could have, uh, taken care of Grace, actually, because, like, it was kind of a lot, and I don't think they had money. Well, they had money, but I don't know if it was enough, and, when I when I found out about this, I was I was super shocked. My uh, they they had to go to all the way to to Wisconsin and it sucked. Hi Trixie. And um, it, it sucked. It sucked. I I grew up with that dog and I loved that dog. And then after that, um, I lost more and more pets, which really got a hold to me. And a couple of them I was really close with. Like, to name one lady, she died out of nowhere, too. It was just a stupid tooth removal. And that's that's when she died. I asked, hey, Grandma, why, why, why isn't a lady with you? And my grandma just said, like, she passed away. And, like, I got super sad. But there's some good that comes out of bad things. I got a new chihuahua. Her name is Roxy. She's a demon. She's a devil's dog. Yeah, and, um, so, everything was all new, everything stayed the same, and in 2015, well, no, my grand, well, my great-grandmother, who I talked about earlier, she got hit by a car, and she was really sick, and, um, it sucked, and that, I had football scrimmages and stuff so um so I had to suffer through that and in 2015 I officially made my YouTube channel this year is my three years on YouTube I can't wait I'm gonna do something probably I'll probably do something for the anniversary but I don't know but you guys know that uh last year 2017 as I said the worst freaking year of my damn life my great grandmother, she just kept getting sicker and sicker, and she, she was in and out of the hospital, in and out of like retirement homes and stuff. Then, then out of nowhere, she passed away. Her final last words, I'll never forget her final last words. <laughs> I was told what her final last words were. She said, just take care of each other. And, um, her favorite animal was a butterfly. And now whenever I see a damn butterfly, I'm, I'm like, I always, like, think of my great-grandmother. <laughs> I left out some details, but they're just little minor details. Like, when I moved into this house and got my first PlayStation 4. But that's it. If you guys liked it and want to hear, like, the little details, please leave a like, subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys all on the other side. I need to stop crying. Jesus. See you later, guys.